Okay guys, welcome back, and I kind of cut myself off at the end of the other video there because I didn't realize there's a 10 minute limit on my uh, recording for Bandicam, as you can see at the top, Bandicam.com. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, I went into, I'm doing the tutorial, I just clicked do the tutorial, and now I've gone to the main screen here for the Ranger Center, so you can read through that, but um, here it says my node account balance is 120 which nodes um, they go here if you read through that nodes basically are kind of a currency that you use that you build them together to make micro modules and micro modules are mods for your ship you put them onto equipment on your ship and it boosts it or improves it in certain ways um, And you can trade in micromodules for nodes. If you have a micromodule that you earn, you earn them relatively often. Um, you know, like every year, there's a cr you get one as like a Christmas gift. You can get some for completing missions. Um, and if they, if there's one you don't like, for example, say it improves the speed of a Malak engine, but you're not using a Malak engine, you're using a human engine, and you n have no intention of getting a Malak engine. So you can trade it in for nodes and use those nodes to purchase a different micro module that hopefully you'll like better which if you um, go to here you can see I've got 120 nodes you can see that uh, the costs and what it uh, what they do what <laughs> um, Here's the responsibilities of a ranger. So let's take a look at our ship. Here's our ship, the Gravicore Hall Ranger. It's 245 durability, locks up to one incoming damage, 245 cargo space, and everything on your ship takes up cargo space as well as cargo. <laughs> so, for example, our engine here. Uses 30 cargo space. That's a diving engine, top speed of 400, hyperdrive range of, range of 17 parsecs. Fuel tank takes up 20. Our, our gripper, which we can use to pick up objects in space, such as asteroids and debris of some types. Um, radar scanner. So all this takes up space. And of our two, 245 cargo space, down here we can see we have 20 free space remaining. So all this equipment is using up all that. And free space is very important, especially for traders. Um, you can see right now a magnate. A magnate. Magnet. Magnate. <laughs> um, that kind of, this is my, this kind of changes as I do stuff, so it will become a trader, pirate, whatever you, uh, and I'm doing. Um, here's my spare or my excess XP, and that I can use to put in skill points. So right now, I forgot to mention this at the start. But I put a point into or starting point into pilot's mobility, so I have more mobility. So I have a 17% probability of sustaining minimum damage. And here I've got one commerce, so I can uh, buy and sell for get better prices. So when I get XP. So for example, if I want technology, which makes it so my equipment will wear out slower, it will cost me 1600 experience to put a point in that. That would be pretty useful because I end up spending quite a lot of money on uh, spare equipment. I completely forgot when I was starting my game to show these two starting... Uh, you, put, you can put two points into two of the six of these. I chose these two. And you get to choose two equipment to start with. I chose the telekinetic gripper which is the same weight as that gripper but it can hold it can grab larger objects in a bit of a larger radius so I'm gonna replace it my old gripper with the new one we can see here when we have our mouse over that we can sell it for 251 credits the old one so we're gonna do that and here's our total credits at the bottom here 1371 and it's the first of January 3300 we've also got a singular engine here which Top speed of 480, hyper jump, hyper jump range of 20 parsecs, 
and it's also only 40 weight whereas this one is 60 so it's faster goes farther and it's lighter so I'm gonna replace that sell the old one for 209 credits so this here is the cargo on the ranger center this is the cargo on my ship so this will take up cargo space this I can store as much as I want on this cargo station though usually I like to sell the excess excess stuff and we can see here there are empty slots here so I can have up to three weapons on the ship of course there's no way I'm fitting three weapons with 40 cargo space this is for shield generator this is for a droid these are uh, kinda like mods like bonuses bonus slots um, also here's a little button the afterburner a lot I'd imagine a lot of people missed this because I didn't know about this for a while I didn't see that little button there shifts the engine into extreme mode multiplying speed by two greatly accelerates wear and tear so your engine will get completely destroyed when you use that but it can be handy for if you're in a big rush over a short time or, or in an emergency but if you use that too long and your engine gets trashed you'll be barely hopping along trying to get to the nearest place to repair and it'll be expensive to repair your engine um, okay so down at the bottom here we've got tips this is a hint hints can be deleted by right clicking quests cannot until you um, so if I right click nothing happens right click the, the hint and it disappears so my mission is to report to an instructor on planet earth to complete a training course since I accepted my training to take off from the planet enter the hangar the hangars are used to repair the hull of your ship for fuel blah 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 so exit out of this screen we've also got so that was the ship screen this is the ranger radiant screen you can see the top three rangers the top warrior the top trader the top pirate and I'm in 44th place. I'm in last place out of out of all the uh, out of all the rangers. So yeah. So the government screen is the screen that we were at. We've got the trade screen where you can see where there's goods to buy and sell. Now I love buying and selling in games, um, but. Right now, there's nothing uh, cheap, so you'll see thumbs up on the side here um, when there, when it's a good price to to buy, and thumbs up on this side when you have items and it's a good price to sell. Right now, there's no thumbs up, so we're not going to buy or sell. Here's the equipment store. Here's where you can buy stuff. So you can buy a new ship here, the Invincible Hall Shield Generator Capacity. So 17,000 credits for that. That is an expensive ship, and you can see. To the left of the text, it shows um, shows like a screen that looks like this. So you can see what slots that ship can have. So that ship can have all the slots, almost all the slots available. Or this ship, this ship has all of them. Okay. Some ships, like trading ships and stuff, can't have things like a gripper or shields. Um, but we've got stuff here. It's a fuel tank. Got engines here. Wow, I'm just dragging on for a long time. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. I'm kind of going through a little slow. Um, here's a map of the galaxy. So this is random. Last time I played, I was down in this corner. Earth was in this corner. So the sectors are all kind of random. Earth is usually in one of the corners. I'm not sure exactly, or one of these two. Um, anyway, Soul. That's where Earth is. Betelgeist. There's usually, if I hold my click on there, yeah, there's a business center there. That's like a bank. That's that can be val. You can actually invest money, or not invest, but you can uh, deposit money into an account and get interest over time. It takes a long time to accumulate interest, but put in a minimum of a thousand and you get you know two percent interest a year an in-game year and it can add up if you put in a lot of money of course if you put in a lot of money you get less interest so that's something to